everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. This video will be a piano tutorial for Story Hill's highlight, at least based on the way I played it on the piano. So, this was a song request from my patron Emily. Thank you, Emily, for your support and for the song request. Um, it was kind of a fun one to learn. It reminds me a little bit of like, uh, kind of like James Taylor style where there's lots of chord changes and the actual motion of the song is kind of based on the chord changes. So, let's talk about what I did here. The introduction is like an A, E, D, E. We're gonna do that twice. And we're basically just gonna outline the chords going down from the top, right? And over the A, and there's like this like little blurred note like a grace note, E, D, E, right, we just repeat that, so. Right, and you can start to add a little more movement in there. See the difference in, in the feeling of like actually hitting you and then stopping at the top of there in the left hand? Right, I'm just doing octaves and fifths, right? Versus. You could also try it with like a tenth on the top. Just a few ideas to kind of change that up a little bit so you're not just like hitting chords on each change. So then our melody is going to follow these same chords. We're going to do it three times on that A, E, D, E thing. So then the fourth time we'll just do A, E, D. So you just kind of hang on the D instead of doing the A D instead of doing going back to the E again. Then we'll do A E D E again. Then A E D. And then we have our next section, which is going to go to B minor, A over C sharp, D over E. We'll repeat that twice. And I'll kind of approximate the melody here. I did a lot of improvisation over these chord changes. So kind of like a... You can kind of see I'm like moving some of those chords in the inside. And then we have our chorus, A, D, E, twice. And then we're gonna go to F sharp minor, to D, A, B minor, E, and there's like a D sus. Let me do that much again, starting with the chorus. You can kind of see what I'm doing. I use this technique a lot. Kind of just like moving around the chord, right? So here's my chord, or here's my basic chord, but inside that I might do things like. Right, so now I'm just like trying to add some variety to this. And then above that, my melody is singing out. And then, you know, these like rolled kind of chords, you know, either, either rolling to the 10th or rolling octave over to the 10th, things like that. You know, here's something where I'm doing this technique, doing the fifth and then bringing my pinky up to the fifth, excuse me, doing, right, doing fifth octave and then jumping and then like kind of like adding that sus sound in there. So just so I'm adding like movement and rhythm into my plane. Playing around with that D sus sound, then we have another verse. I 
again the fourth time you do the A, E, D, you just kind of hang out in the D. And then we go back to our second section over in the B minor. Another chorus. This time we're gonna go to F sharp minor to D. F sharp minor, D, and then we have a little instrumental just like the the line from the introduction. Same thing again, the fourth time through, we're not going to omit that last E. We're going to go to our little second section again with the B minor. I noticed this time that they kind of hung out on that E before they go to like the last part with the last choruses. Okay, so here's another chorus. This time we're just going to go straight from the E into the chorus again. And then we're going to go to D sus this time. E to A, right? You can, and you can play that any, any numbers away, like. Right, kind of doing that, like, kind of the cliche. <laughs> right, kind of that B, that ninth to 10th, or that, excuse me, second to third, so it's like going from a sus to, to this to the major chord but then kind of like blurring it a little bit with the with the pedal there um, but yeah so those are kind of like how I was playing it doing a lot of movement around the chords because the chords change so much you know it's kind of like um, it reminds me a little bit you know, James Taylor, you can close your eyes, where there's so many changes and you're just kind of like playing around with like the change, because there's so many chord changes, you're kind of like moving within the chords and the chord movement from one to another is like what creates the movement and the motion in the song. But uh, yeah, I hope that's helpful. Um, I know it's kind of a, just a brief overview of the song, but um, those chords and melody there, you can kind of see what I'm doing with my hands. I hope the notes on the page or notes up here help. Um, I hope that there's a synthesia and then there's, of course, there's also my acoustic version. So a big thank you to Emily for requesting the song. I was not aware of the band. I was not aware of the song. It was a, it was a nice one to learn. Um, I think it was an anniversary present. So that's always kind of fun to do that for folks. But yeah, um, big thank you to my other patrons as well on Patreon for supporting the channel, requesting songs and kind of encourage me to keep making things. It means a lot. Uh, thank you to everybody else for watching and sharing the videos. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will get back to you. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Take care.